Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. That is my pan of colors left over from the stripes I just did on a 12 by 24 inch by 2 inch canvas with my shovel. And now I want to add some more colors to them. There was hot orchid in there, there was everything in there, but now I'm going to put some more in there. And this is going to be the cobalt blue metallic turquoise, yeah I know, from Artist Loft. This is some of the Arteza phalo green with golden iridescent pearl fine mixed into it until it becomes iridescent. This is the Artist Loft Amethyst. There's quite a bit of gold in there. I know there's DecoArt 24 karat gold and there's DecoArt 24 karat gold with orange mixed into it. This is a, I want to call it pistachio, but it's an Arteza um, metallic or pearl rather. And it's very pale green. I'm going to try and get rid of this. This is a Chrysocolla green from Color Art. I'm liking the greens with the gold a lot. I'm going to have to reorganize those. This is just a neon purple that I added golden iridescent pearl fine to until it lightened itself up. There. This is the, this is the same color basically only as an iridescent as color shifting. This is the purple flash from folk art. So you can see it's not very different. And I wasn't going to use any of that, but I am. This is the um, this is the emerald green color shifting paint from folk art. Might want a little more of that. I might want more of anything. This I've been recording. This is a um, mysterious Gail Burston has a recipe for that. This is a golden color that came in a tub that was a gift from a friend. And I have a feeling that that's going to make it zing really nicely. I thought it would be nice to add a little bit of copper because I didn't have any in there. It's not that different than the Decor at Americana 24 karat gold with orange added to it. This is a now shimmering lilac purple that I don't know what it is. <laughs> but I did add iridescent pearl fine to it and I think rather than go without I'm going to use a couple of shades of egg yolk or dairy lid or it's yellow it's sergeant's yellow with some orange in it and here's the orange which is probably just a Hobby Lobby brand with some iridescent pearl and I'm going to go back and yes that's perfect I'm going to add some of the electric blue from Arteza. And while I'm at it, what am I going to do? I am going to add in some more of, show yourself, yes, the Arteza. Really? You were open a minute ago. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> Come on, open. Open up. Yep, there we go. Well, I guess I'll have to be settling for that. So I have next to me a 24 by 30 inch canvas and I cannot use it on my turntable and do anything productive. So I am going to add my paint to my canvas as best I can, hoping that I'm in frame. And I'm going to grab a shovel, take the dust off as best I can. We just changed the filters in the house. I'm going to grab a, a big scoop of paint. And I'm just going to keep adding what I can contemplate as being my foliage. And I may tip this and I may dribble. And I may have paint left over or I might not. I definitely think dribbling is in order. I've just decided. And I'm not too worried about having paint left over. I may just continue right on. Oh, that's a lot of paint in that shovel.
So far, so good. I kind of like all of that. We'll just think of those as potential vines hanging down. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the, the trunks or the land underneath, but what I really wanted to do was start the way I am. I also had definitely strong ideas about maybe using the white cell activator, the Aussie Floetrol with Amsterdam white in it. And I have trees in my neighborhood with lots of foliage, like almost 90% foliage and then a whole bunch of trees, tree, uh, tree trunks at the base. And I really like the way those groupings looked. So that's basically what might happen down the road. It may not happen right now. <laughs> There might be stars in the sky, there might be moon. Could All th kinds of things could happen with this. This is probably just part one. I might wish I could just stop because I kind of like it right exactly like it is. And if I did stop, that would be okay with me. But that's not the plan. I've used up most of my colors too. I'm inclined to grab what I can scrape up. And it just fills one shovel full, basically. Put it, where can I put it? <laughs> I need to put it someplace. It's not going to spill them immediately. Oh, there is a little bit more in there. I'm going to grab all that I can. Come on out. I have this container built with clear waterproof duct tape, so some of the tape is catching on the shovel a little bit. That's going right in my bucket. I'm terrible at wasting paint. Just terrible. I can't do it. <laughs> so I'll put that right on my garbage bag and then the rest will go in the bucket. So now, I still went right in the middle. I did put some pink enamel. I think it was folk art. It might have been decor art. Acrylic. And that will have created some of these little cells. I don't want to do much to this, I can tell you now. So maybe I should just put in a land area. <laughs> but if I'm going to tip the land area, I can't do much of anything with this. I guess what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab myself some of the Amsterdam white, which is almost nearly plugged, it seems like and some of my little tools. And I might want to scrape dish just to make sure I can get the dirty paint off. a little bit of white. Actually, the white usually disappears almost completely, I have noticed. I just thought it would be nice to be able to see what this looks like. Although it's a pretty big canvas. I did pre-prime it. It is dry. I did pre-prime it with uh, mead and black paint. I'm wondering if maybe I would like it better if I used a tiny little my, my little hoe because I can twist that a lot easier. I don't even think that this is important to do. I just really wanted to try it. If the paint is nice and heavy and you don't catch your little tool on the canvas underneath it works really super well. I want to stop and torch.
that's an interesting idea, stealing some paint and fluffing out my trees. Or they're still, in my mind, they're still treetops. And of course, I have paint on my pants, and I just leaned that in a thousand. Okay, well, I can definitely add land later, and I think I will. I can steal paint from any little color section I want. I'm really surprised my little tool is working better than my usual favorite, which is the round one. Makes me want to try the bigger one. There's my bigger one. Oh yeah, that works really well. I kind of want to drag some branches down, to tell you the truth. I hadn't thought of this until right then. But I don't see why I shouldn't. I got so much deep paint. no reason why not why I shouldn't use it it's deep enough so that I can go back also and put some more cell activator in there and that's what I mean by those groupings of trees And compared to the tops, the bases weren't much. So whatever height these trunks wind up at, they're going to be traveling along a hillside. And this tool is very conveniently the perfect size. This could probably take me a lot longer but it's also a much larger canvas. I think it's going to be fun though. <laughs> or it has been so far. Larger trunk means you're in closer to the foreground. Beautiful colors. I like the little gaps. I found some black from somewhere. I can always spread out my roots. I think I'm going to have to do that after I get everything else in place. I'm wondering about back here. I don't mind a few trees in the background. It's 
pretty easy to pull the paint down. It's going to be a little surreal, but that's okay. Just dribbling little branches across spaces. I think that needs to be a little bigger. I think I need to pull that totally forward. I don't want to dip too deep in my paint colors because that'll mix them and I don't want to mix them because mixing is when the browns come. Although they're always going to be metallics. I can't turn this around for you guys. I'm sorry about that. I definitely have something I want to cover right there, which I would cover if my bottle were open. Which it's not. All right, I'll do that in a minute after you're gone. I don't want to. leave you hanging and I think I can get most of my most of the marks that imply the trees in place and maybe I can even turn it around Alright, I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other, take care of yourselves. Make sure to check out the exhibition video on the end screen and the prizes in the next monthly drawing. If you are a contributor through PayPal to help keep the studio rolling, you will be automatically entered. I want a little bit more cell activator over here. And I'm going to probably be fiddling with this for a couple of minutes. I don't think that I can do another stage to this right now. I've got one minute left. I will be covering that little schmutzy spot. <laughs> Please check my link tree. It's underneath the video. It has my Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my Facebook groups. What else? <laughs> <laughs> I have over 2,100 videos, and you can find them organized by topic and genre in the playlists. Oh, i got a spare tree over here. Moves right off the canvas. Okay, then. That works. I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to keep... Probably should not paint things upside down, but I tend to want to do that anyway because you're still here. So what can I tell you? Please give my, my video a thumbs up. Thank you for the comments that keep my morale boosted.